Today's video, I want to talk about dreams where you wake up chewing or eating something. Where you wake up grinding your teeth, where you wake up and you know that you are chewing or you've just dreamt that you've been eating and eating and eating this piece of meat. Those dreams is witchcraft. We are not supposed to be eating in our dreams. Those dreams, someone is witchcraft. Somebody is speaking curses over your name. Those dreams, you are waking up, eating, chewing your own destiny. You are chewing it. You are finishing it. And if you look at those dreams, 90% of the time, people who have those dreams, their life is in the nation because you are chewing your own destiny. Okay? I just come out of a deliverance session where this young lady, she had a dream. This is another topic. She had a dream of a lady that she was having a disagreement with in the community. Another young lady, they were having a fight. You know how people fight in the neighborhood. This one is mad at that one for telling this one's business and for speaking about that one. So they have arguments for taking this one's boyfriend, for sleeping with that one's boyfriend. You know how it goes. And she had a dream that this lady that she was fighting with put a snake, wrapped a snake around her head in the dream. Okay? This lady that I just saw in the session, she was also used to waking up and she's chewing. Her teeth are grinding. She's eating in her dreams. Okay? We went through deliverance. Before we even went through the curse breaking, you know, before you even start the curse breaking properly where we start lord jesus christ the snake started hissing the snake started hissing from that lady from that lady be careful who you fight with people don't fight with. now in today's society it doesn't help to say yeah i am a no-nonsense woman i don't take no one's nonsense i beat everyone i can smash everyone's face be careful who you fight with. People do not fight fair. They will be feeding you in your dreams. You will be chewing your own destiny, chewing on their witchcraft, chewing on their, their mootis. When you wake up, your life is not making sense. This lady that I just saw in Deliverance, she booked a session because she was getting attacks on her mind, brain fog, she can't think, people rejecting her for no reason. Guys are interested in her, but they ghost her. Hmm? Everything is blocked. She was sad, depressed, like you can see the heaviness on her. When we went through the deliverance, from chewing in the sleep, from dreaming the friend, the, 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 the frenemy wrapping a snake around her head, a snake manifested. Obviously, that snake has been squeezing the finances. The snake has been squeezing the joy. The snake has been squeezing the mind. The snake has been squeezing marriage. Do not even be a possibility. Be careful in this day and age who you fight with, who you confront, who you have arguments with, who you have beef with. Because people do not fight fair. You, some people talk a lot. Some people go quietly to altars. Your life will be in stagnation. But if you wake up from a dream and you are chewing, chewing, chewing. Or you wake up, you find yourself eating or being fed or you chewing. Some people even wake up with a piece of food in their mouth. You are chewing your own destiny. It's the same like witches when they sit and they watch a person. And they are chewing. Mm, 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 chewing. They're chewing that person's destiny. They're sucking from that person's life. It is true. It is real. It happens. If these are the kind of dreams that you are having, if the Lord has showed you something in a dream, do not ignore it. Do not dismiss it as nothing. Pray about it. Cancel the altar behind the dream. Destroy the stronghold that that dream comes. Destroy the curse that that dream comes in with. Be vigilant in these last days, family. Be vigilant. Many people are in bondage over a simple fight 20 years ago. With someone from their neighborhood. Many people are in bondage over a simple argument 20 years ago. And that person didn't fight back. Didn't say anything. But quietly went to their grandmother's altars. Quietly went to the witch doctor. And spoke curses over your name. Be vigilant. God bless family.